Hi everyone. As I promised, I thought I would do this little demo. It seems like a number of you are having problems with the last lab assignment, which is plan and section trees. So you're going to start with a piece of tish paper. Um, and you're going to kind of divide it in half, right? So you're going to label one half plan view trees and one half section view trees. Okay, just like that. And so you're given different widths. So if we start with plan view, on the assignment, you're given different widths. For example, the first two trees you're going to draw are at a quarter inch uh, diameter scale, and they are 20 feet in diameter. So we're going to take our architectural scale, and I am going to use a pencil to rough it in. I'm going to find my quarter inch blade, and I am going to draw a giant circle at about 20 feet. So these are going to be my biggest, probably my biggest circle. So there's 20 feet right there. Now, if you had a really big circle template, um, you could certainly measure the diameter of that and use that. Um, I happen to have those at work, so I'm going to have to rough it in via pencil. Um, this is the accuracy is something I'm going to grade you on, though. So try to measure carefully. Um, so a 20 diameter tree, an outline is going to look about like that. Um, so this is. Um, at a quarter scale, again, plan view. So one quarter inch is equal to one foot zero inches. Okay. And so I'm going to use one of the many symbols that is located in my, um, all of those graphic resources you've gotten in those classes. Um, I've given you a couple different handouts now, and um, some of you may or may not have bought the book. So for this one, I'm going to make a real simple uh, plan view tree symbol. Um, I like to use my darkest, heaviest weight pen, as we talked about in early assignments, for the outside edge of the tree. Now I can come back in and add some more detail um, around the edge of the tree. So the idea is to practice scaling and to practice using some of your different plan view symbols before we get to projects. So that is what this assignment is about. So I'm just adding some tree detail in here. Um, this is kind of my shady side of the tree. So usually there's more texture along there. And there I have one plan view tree, 20 feet wide, 20 foot diameter at quarter inch scale. Now, if I go to my engineering scale, I'm gonna jump down to the 20 scale in engineering, um, I will rotate my blades on my engineering scale, and I'm going to find my, my 20 on this blade, and I'm going to mark 20 feet. Remember, with engineering, you need to add the zero, because this could be a 20-foot scale, a 200-foot 200, 200 scale, a 2,000 scale. So I've got zero, one, two. Now, a 20 scale tree is going to look like this. A 20 foot wide tree at 20 scale is going to be about that big. So again, I'm going to go ahead and use my, my heavy pen weight to create an outline for that tree. I always like to mark the center of my tree. I'm going to add some detail. Again, an opportunity to kind of practice some of your different tree graphics. So this one is 20, um, it's actually labeled as one inch is equal to 20 feet, the way we would label it in engineering. So two different size trees. Again, you're going to draw two quarter inch scale, two 20 inch scale, and then you've got eight inch scale. So for eighth inch, I'm going to find my eighth inch blade. Again, 20 feet wide. Um, so to mark my 20, again, I'm using the top row of numbers, whatever the same row as the zero closest to uh, what you're trying, scale you're trying to use um, is the one you want to use. So I don't know if I'm going to mark my center here because I'm just roughing this in. 
salt. So about 10 is about my center. Okay. 12, 10. I'm just trying to make kind of an equal circle here. And I'm going to rough in my 20 foot wide, 20 foot diameter tree at a scale. And yeah, think about half the size of, of this one. Because it was quarter scale, this is eight scale. So um, <laughs> let's see. Um, I'm going to, again, stay with my heavy pen. This time I'm going to use yet another graphic. Again, always nice to have a circle template to get a real solid, uh, solid symbol. But I happen to have left mine at work. Oh, and this is off the camera. I apologize. So, switch this up. You can see it. So again, we've got now a quarter-inch scale. Uh, drawing of a 20 foot diameter tree in plan view, a 20 scale, and then this is eighth of an inch architectural. Remember with architectural, we can mat, we can draw to the nearest inch. So we always say one foot zero inches, right? So got everything labeled, got these plans view. You're actually gonna draw two of these. You're just gonna kind of squeeze them in wherever they can fall. And then for section view, we're kind of doing the same thing, except for we're drawing trees, the side view of trees. So again, you should have a number of different um, graphic resources at this point to be able to draw it both in plan and in section. Um, and so on your lab assignment, it says that these trees are in section and that they're going to be 30 feet tall. Doesn't give me a diameter. So, and again, I have different scales I'm gonna be working with. So with the first one is at 3 16th scale. I'm gonna roll through my blades of my architectural scale. Because anything that's a fraction is architectural. And I'm going to find my 3 16th. And I know this is gonna be 30 feet tall. So I'm gonna do a rough um, hatch mark just to mark the top and bottom of my tree. Again, accuracy is important um, for these. And I am going to draw, I think on this one, I'm going to draw a palm tree. So I'm going to draw fronds here. Little seeds in there. There's the top of my palm. Um, he's going to be tall and columnar. All right, make some shading on this trunk. A little bit more consistent of a trunk over here. I'm actually going to come back in with a darker pen um, on this. Make a little bit darker on top. Okay, so now I have a palm tree. So I'm going to say 3 16th is equal to 1 foot 0 inches. That's my architectural scale that it's drawn at. It's 30 feet high. I'm going to do the same thing with quarter inch scale. So that's going to be a tall tree. Go over in here somewhere. I'm going to rotate to my quarter inch blade. Here, I'm marking on my quarter inch blade, measuring from the zero all the way to the top. Um, so there's the top and the bottom of my tree. Uh, maybe I want this to be kind of a, a conifer type tree. I'm penciling it out first. And so you can see it a little bit better. I, again, I, you know, I'm fortunate that I've been doing this a while. So, you know, just reference your your graphic resources. And kind of creating a conifer effect here. Some shading on my truck. Skirt at the bottom. Mm 
come first. So again, this was my one quarter inch is equal to one foot zero inch diameter architectural scale. Um, and I've got my nice tall 30 foot conifer, which is taller than my 3 16 inch uh, palm tree, right? They're both 30 feet, but one is much taller than the other based on its scale. Last one is going to be a 10 foot high tree. So I can rotate to engineering. All right, here's my engineering scale. I'm going to try and I can squeeze one in where you guys can see it. All right, squeeze it right in this corner. So again, I'm in my engineering scale, 10 scale. Here's my top and my bottom of the tree. Um, so this one I will make a standard lollipop tree, or standard round or ovoid kind of tree. Okay. You kind of see the stems trunk through that if I wanted to. Maybe I can use a little bit lighter shading along in here. Again, if you're having trouble with scaling, I loaded that FEMA document that's in an earlier version. It's called like Engineering Architecture Scales. So reread that and do some of the exercises in there. Um, scaling is one of those, let's see, left brain activities. It's more of a linear activity. So if you're fr frustrated with scaling, um, that's okay. It's, it's really frustrating for some people to learn. Um, just do the, you're in, maybe you're a right brain thinker, so you gotta do a little extra work and read through those extra documents to kind of um, walk through it a few times before it gets pinned down in your mind. But this is a really important scale. And next class, we're going to go into an entire section elevation of a landscape. So we'll be drawing in the side view. So it's an important skill to have honed because the next demo is going to get a little bit trickier. All right. I hope that helps you on your assignment. Good night, everyone.